Good afternoon everyone, Kim here from Bear Trackers Animal Tracks Den and Bear Trackers Nature Films. And I'm here today in the woods um, of Northern California in Humboldt County. And this is a forest composed of Monterey pine and tan oak trees. There's also Douglas fir and California bay trees in here. So what we're looking at here is a scat um, that I've determined is a mountain lion scat. And I'm going to show you some characteristics that tell you that's a mountain lion scat. Uh, the first one to notice is that it's in a prepared scrape. Now, mountain lions make these scrapes and they do not always deposit a scat in the scrape. Sometimes they'll just make a scrape. They'll stand here with their two back feet and kick the needles backwards. And that's how these needles ended up here on top of this log. You notice that they're They've been kicked backwards. They're not laying on the ground like the needles surrounding this. The normal forest stuff. And you can see that the scat itself has been deposited in a sort of a bowl-shaped depression. That's the scrape itself. This is just the debris that was scraped out of there. This scat is large. Um, close to an inch in diameter. This is three inches long. Um, not quite an inch in diameter, um, but it's also really hard. When I poke it with a stick, that thing's hard. It's dense. I can't poke the stick into it like you could with a coyote scat. So I'm going to show you up close um, the scat in a moment here. And uh, look at it a little closer. These are bone fragments that you see sticking out of it. So let's take a look at those. But the thing to note here is this scrape with the debris kicked back and the scat deposited in the scrape. Okay, what I've done is I've picked up the scat and I've moved it to a location where it's a little easier to see. And I'm using plastic bags on my hands instead of gloves because I don't have any gloves on me. Normally I have gloves. So, you can see the bone fragments in here, but when I break it apart, one thing you notice is first it's hard to break apart because it's so dense. And there's a lot of fur in there. But inside, you can see there's twisted fur. This is packed. I can squeeze it and it doesn't squish. Um, but if I tear it apart, you can see that what that is is just densely packed fur with some fragments of bones in it. Here's a fragment of bone right here that is really hard to get out because the scat is so dense. But that's a characteristic of feline scats is they're they're not squishy like canine scats. If you find a coyote scat and you poke it with a stick, you know, your stick is going to poke right into it. This stuff is hard and very difficult to um, make any sort of dent in. The other thing you notice is the form is sort of, uh, well, what do you want to call it? They look like little marshmallows almost. They're squeezed. They have little segments in them. Um, and that's just the form of a feline scat. But when you open it up, you see this really, really packed fur in there. And this little piece of bone right here. Um, I'm not sure what type of bone that is, because it's just a fragment. But they are able to chew up bones with their really strong canine, excuse me, uh, carnivorous teeth. And um, so this is a close look at a mountain lion scat. And their diet out here in these woods is deer primarily, but they'll also eat things like raccoons and and uh, foxes and other things that they can catch. So there's a close look at a mountain lion scat, and I hope that was educational, um, and hope you find some interesting things in the woods on your own. See you on the trail.